Welcome to Sailing Tellaru. Today we are hopping off our boat and leaving the anchorage behind to explore all the fun things to do on a visit to Key West. We're showing you all the best spots and activities that you will not want to miss. Whether you're flying, sailing, or cruising to Key West, we have all the tips and suggestions you need for your trip. We've incorporated some things into today's video that we are certain you will not find in most or if in any of the other Key West travel tip videos. We are anchored in Fleming Key and dinghy into Key West Bite Marina. It's $8 per day for a dinghy spot on the dinghy dock. One of the restaurants that overlooks the dinghy dock is called Turtle Crawl. We highly recommend stopping into Turtle Crawl for a bite to eat with a view. This is also a great go-to area for scuba diving charters, parasailing, jet skiing, and sunset cruises, all of which Sean and I have partaken in throughout our many trips together to Key West. Key West, you can rent scooters, Jeeps, and even Polaris slingshots. Parking in Key West is not always the easiest, so we highly recommend renting a Vespa scooter for the convenience factor of parking. But if you want a real adventure and something different, go to Key West Jeep Adventures like we did and choose between a variety of Jeeps or Polaris slingshots. We opted for a slingshot for the day. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sailing Tellaroo. In case you're new to our channel, I'm Sean. And I'm Amber. And today we are here in sunny, beautiful Key West, Florida. Now we sailed Tellaroo all the way down from Coconut Grove down here to Key West and actually came in that approach. They're going back to the Anchorage area off Fleming Key. So today we are going to take you along on a little tour of Key West and show you some amazing fun things to do while you're here. And we're also in this amazing Polaris slingshot and we're going to take a road trip up the overseas highway in the Florida Keys. So y'all come on along with us. southernmost point in the continental United States of America at the famous buoy. This is 90 miles from Cuba, 150 miles from Miami. So technically, right now we're closer to Cuba than Miami. And as you can see, this is a super popular tourist spot. So here we are y'all at the home of famous author Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway lived here in Key West in this very home from 1931 to 1939. It is believed that this home had the very first in-ground swimming pool ever installed on the island of Key West. Now Hemingway had his writing studio on the second floor. In this writing studio on the second floor, Hemingway wrote all or parts of some of his very famous works, including For Whom the Bell Tolls, Death in the Afternoon, and The Green Hills of Africa. 
Now Hemingway loved Key West. He loved to hang out at Sloppy Joe's. Also another little known fact about Hemingway is he loved boxing. And they used to have way back in the day, Friday night fight nights where Hemingway would sometimes box himself he would also referee and we're going to take you to the site of that old place that used to be a saloon a bordello and now it is the famous Blue Haven restaurant we have actually spent a good bit of time here in Key West before this trip. Sean actually on our very first ever trip together brought me here to Key West and we had an absolute blast. That's where he told me he loved me for the very first time here in Key West. So it has such a special place in our heart y'all. And we just wanted to share with you guys this amazing place and bring you along with us before we leave US waters. Okay y'all, so here we are at Blue Heaven. Oh my gosh, you guys. So my husband just mentioned to you guys back at Hemingway's house about the property that he used to referee some boxing at and this is that property prior to it ever being Blue Heaven. Now, this is an absolutely amazing restaurant. It's indoor, outdoor dining. It's got a casual atmosphere. It's got live entertainment. And the cuisine is American, Caribbean, and it also has vegetarian cuisine options as well. Blue Heaven is two blocks from Duval in the historic Bahama Village. And they actually have a sister restaurant, which is called Salute, and it is on the beach. And just so you guys know, the key lime pie here at Blue Heaven is to die for. So if you're ever in Key West, you have to check it out. Baby, do you love Key West? I absolutely love Key West. Such an awesome, quirky, fun place. I love Key West too. This Polaris Slingshot is a three-wheel topless ride that is sure to turn heads as you cruise through town. We were shocked that it was available as an automatic instead of a manual stick shift. So sleek and adventurous to take on the day in. I'm really glad we ended up getting this getting this thing to drive around in. It's fun already. I'm loving it. Yes, it's amazing fun. Fausto's is a local grocery store that was started in 1926, making it the oldest running Key West business. If you're in need of some groceries during your visit, you can opt for this conveniently located spot if you're in the downtown area. Or you can drive about three miles to shop at Publix for a larger range of items. All right, y'all, so here we are at Cafe Marquesa. Oh my gosh, if you're in Key West, you have to come here if you love an upscale dining vibe. Now, here in Cafe Marquesa, they have a contemporary American cuisine and only 50 seats in the restaurant, so it's a very small restaurant feel, very charming and elegant inside. And y'all, this restaurant is Zagat rated. It is the perfect Key West spot for an intimate upscale date night. The Marquesa property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior circa 1884. The old historic home that Cafe Marquesa is located in is the James Haskins house. The fire of 1886 missed this single family house by 200 feet. A portion of the first floor was rebuilt at the street level in 1889 for a gents goods store. The storefront saw a succession of commercial uses through the years and the house became a boarding house in the early 1900s. Restored in 1987 and enlarged in 1993 with the addition of two neighboring historic buildings. All right, y'all, so next we're gonna take you down to one of our favorite hidden gems places to eat in Key West. You're gonna love this. Let's head to Cafe Soul. y'all so here we are at cafe soul this is one of our favorite go-to places here in key west it's kind of off the beaten track over here on southern and francis streets in the residential area but it is amazing food it is a very nice elegant intimate 
atmosphere inside and the food is absolutely fabulous. They're known for their hogfish snapper sole and one of my all-time favorites to get here is their duck la orange. It is magnifique. It's always five o'clock somewhere here in Key West. Let's go get a drink. Y'all, so now we are off to a funky little place off the beaten path, and it is a little road trip up the overseas highway from Key West. And it is called the No Name Pub, and it's a funky place if you can find it. Let's see if we can. Hey y'all, so here we are at the Square Grouper Bar. Now, if y'all don't know what Square Grouper is, that's the subject for a whole nother type of video. But we are continuing on our way up the overseas highway to the No Name Pub, and we decided to dip off at the Square Grouper and have a drink. <laughs> Here we are, Overseas Highway, US 1, headed to the North Pole. We're on the Florida Keys road trip. We stopped in for a drink. Here's to you, from you, and Jansen. I've never met you, never met you. But, since I met you, I bet you, I'll let you do it again. drove around 30 miles outside of Key West to see if we could find the No Name Pub, we had a literal blast in this slingshot. The No Name Pub goes back to 1931 when they were just a general store and bait and tackle shop. At one point, there was an upstairs brothel, but it closed. According to the No Name Pub history on their website, since the men were more attractive than the women. In the 1950s, the general store and bait and tackle shop closed and the pub became 100% bar and restaurant and quickly became a Keys hangout. In the 1970s and 80s, cash money flowed very freely through the Keys. In fact, it flowed so free that people literally had so much cash, they started stapling it to the walls in the pub. And this became a tradition that still lives on today. The No Name Pub is a popular stop on any overseas highway road trip. We had a great time at this fabulous place. I got the New York burger. It had bacon on it. Mm, it was so good. And then the fries here over the top. And then you had the barbecue pork salad. pork sandwich. Awesome. Again, fabulous. The food was really good here. We love finding hole in the wall places like this, and we're so glad that we found this place. So, we did definitely put a dollar bill and a teller room card up there. So, if you're ever here, hopefully, you will find the teller room card and comment below and let us know about that. The no name pub on the overseas highway on your way to or from Key West must do stop for y'all. DJ's Clam Shack on the mall, and it was featured on Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. DJ's Clam Shack is a must when visiting Key West. My favorite is the lobster roll, but you cannot go wrong with the cracked conch and the conch fritters. 
trip to Key West is not complete until visiting the iconic Sloppy Joes. As Sean mentioned earlier, it was a favorite hangout spot for Hemingway and has been open since 1933. If you love an interactive style live music experience, you will love Irish Kevin's, which is actually our favorite bar in all of Key West. The atmosphere is lively and you are sure to leave in a good mood. Cuban Coffee Queen has been our favorite coffee for years. We used to order their ground coffee and have it delivered to us when we were land-based. But while in Key West, we stocked up in person for our travels around the world. If you enjoy fishing, a fishing charter with Double Down is a top-level offshore fishing experience for an extremely reasonable price compared to some other fishing charters in Key West. Key West is a fantastic location for offshore fishing. You can see in our previous video our successful and fun experience with Double Down Fishing where we caught some quite large amberjack. We saved our favorite ice cream place in all of Key West for the very last recommendation on our list for this video. While there are tons of places to get ice cream, the place we have been going to for years for what we believe is the best Key West ice cream is Flamingo Crossing on Duval Street. Flamingo Crossing makes all of their ice cream on the premises and is open 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. We post brand new videos twice a week, so y'all be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.